Sub YouTube, it's your boy Kobe, and today we're going to be doing a career sim, starting a career sim for LeBron James. I have made him 19 years old, which is basically what he was when he came out of college or when he came out of high school. He has no years pro, so he's basically a new guy. We're not going to do any changes to the roster, any changes to him. We're just going to strictly simulate through every season and see how LeBron plays in this new uh, career. He is on the Cavs again because I figured everybody I do with this with, I'm going to put them on the teams they were drafted to. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and we're just going to, or nah, we'll do raw. We'll, we'll do raw playthroughs. Mm, nah, actually I won't. I won't do raw playthroughs. Uh, I'm just going to send to the end of the season and I guess we'll see you guys there. Yeah. No, we'll see. We'll see at the all-star break and we'll see if he's an all-star. All right, guys, I just wanted to rejoin with you. We're in the start of January. The team is 20 and 21 and 13. They're doing all right. They might actually be able to snag like a 7th or 8th seed, honestly, in the playoffs. We'll kind of see. It depends on how they play the rest of the season, but it looks like they're going to be playing pretty well. So I'm going to cut off here. We'll jump back in with the All-Star announcements to see if LeBron is an All-Star as a rookie. All right, guys, here we are coming up to the All-Star announcements. The team is doing good. They're 33 and 16, which definitely gives them the – opportunity to probably be a decent playoff team in the east now we're going to see did lebron make an all-star team do you wish to stop simulating yes it is team james and team Giannis. is it team Le oh all right um let's do the auto draft did lebron make lebron is an all-star starter for the east as a rookie so lebron will be in the all-star game here we go boys he will get to say that he is an nba all-star as a rookie so i'm kind of curious what kind of stat line he's having if he's a if he's a rookie starter you know he's an nba all-star and a starter as a rookie so he's probably putting up some pretty beastly numbers at the all-star break his team is 36 and 18 how is lebron playing Season stats, player stats right now. He's averaging 29 points, 6 rebounds, and 8 assists. Jesus, LeBron. He's gotten up 2 overalls. This man is killing the league. He's probably leading the league in points almost. Damn near. He's number 5 as a rookie, might I add. He's a rookie. What the hell? Game. I marked him as a rookie. I think I need to change that real quick. Because I want to make sure that the game knows he's a rookie. So let me make sure. Okay, he has turned 20. Uh, confirm changes. He's a rookie, right? They have him marked as a rookie, hopefully. Hmm. I hope so. Well, let's see. Who else is rookies? Colin Sexton's not the rookie. The rookie is Kevin Porter. He has he is marked as one year. Okay, yeah. So LeBron is a rookie. Alright, let's jump over here. He is an all-star and he's in the East, so. We're going to sim with SimCast and see how good rookie LeBron is going to do. He is in the East, so is his team going to win? And if so, how good is he going to do? Did LeBron feast in the All-Star game? They didn't win, but LeBron, he did okay. All right, um, we're going to sim to the end of the season. The Cavs are going are 36-18 currently, playing pretty well, probably trying to snag a first seed, honestly. I can see it happening. They could definitely snag a decent seed in the playoffs. At least a top four seed. With LeBron playing MVP level as a rookie, that'd be pretty crazy. He could get to do something that hasn't been done since Wes, uh, Wes Unsell, which is win a rookie of the year and an MVP the same year. He's also averaging like 29 points, which, I mean, coming from a rookie is just absolutely insane. Like, a career sim for LeBron, I feel like, is just going to be filled with absolute insanity hopefully he can win a few rings just like he did in real life and hopefully he can you know match some of the awards that he's had in real life i mean it looks like he's part of the Cavs, and they're definitely going to make the playoffs his rookie year he's going to be in the playoffs that'll be great they, they're definitely going to be playoff team top seed potentially i would say with the record they've got if they can win 50 games they could easily be a first if not second seed which means they could get to like the second, maybe third round of the playoffs. 
Maybe LeBron, as a rookie, could make it to the finals. I don't know. They've won their 50th game. That's going to be good momentum for them in the East because the East is not very strong. You've got, like, the 76ers and the Bucks, and that's about it. So those are the only people that should stand between LeBron and a chance at the finals. And he looks like he will definitely be the top seed right now with his 55 wins. As a rookie, he's led his team to 55 wins. Let's see. What are his stats right now? What are LeBron's stats right now? 29 points. Kevin Love and... Wow. Kevin Love and Andre Drummond are injured. And LeBron basically just willed this team to where they're at. He's averaging 29-7-6. Probably MVP. If I can check... I don't know if I can check it, but I wanted to see who's in the race for, uh, ah, a war race. Giannis and LeBron are battling it out for MVP. LeBron, without a doubt, is going to win Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. Damn, LeBron about to pull in two awards as a rookie and winning 76 games. He is not MVP. Giannis wins MVP. LeBron obviously wins Rookie of the Year as probably the best rookie out there. And then LeBron winning Defensive Player of the Year as a rookie. This man had to put up crazy numbers. The Bucks did win more games, so they are the second seed. LeBron's an All-NBA first team. LeBron gets All-NBA first team, All-Defensive all first team, rookie team. Like This man was a first team everywhere. LeBron is playing against, I believe... If I remember correctly, this team is going to have Kevin Durant. Yep. This is going to be a Kevin Durant-led team. So if LeBron can survive long enough to get Kevin Durant back, or not Kevin Durant, Kevin Love back, he should be able to do good. Uh, simulate game one. He wins game one. Ooh. Okay, start simulating the series. Can LeBron advance to the second round of the playoffs? He's up 2-1. He's up 3-1. He advances to play Philly. So LeBron has advanced to the second round to play the the Philadelphia 76ers where Joel Embiid is injured. An injured 76ers team. I think LeBron's got a chance. An injured 76ers team. And LeBron is up 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. And he's going to play the Bucks. Are the Bucks healthy? The Bucks do not have any injuries, it doesn't look like. Oh, maybe Eric Bledsoe. So LeBron makes it to the Western Conference Finals his rookie year. He's up. Oh. He's down 3 to 2. Can LeBron come back? Or is LeBron going to lose in the Eastern Conference Finals? He blows it out for a, a game 7. Here we go LeBron. You've got a chance. You've got a chance to make history as a rookie going into the finals, but no. He gets absolutely destroyed. I mean, his first year he battles to a game seven in the Western Conference Finals, or in the Western, the Eastern Conference Finals. So, I mean, LeBron obviously did something right. He made it to the Western Conference, uh, or the, God, the Eastern Conference Finals as a rookie. Let's see what the draft lottery is. I don't think it's going to be the Cavs, obviously. No, it's the Knicks as always. The Cavs aren't in, even in it. What was I thinking? The Cavs probably have a late pick. 28. Yeah. Alright. Um, we don't make any changes. We're just going to go straight to player progression. And see just how good LeBron got. Because we will not make any changes to LeBron's team or his career. Just simply going to player progression to see what has changed. Maybe the Cavs can bring somebody in to help boost LeBron a little bit. I do hope so. LeBron is... Damn. LeBron is a 95 overall. Colin Sexton gets better. It looks like Drummond isn't here anymore. They lost Drummond. That kind of sucks. And it doesn't look like they really brought anybody in. Dante Exum. But other than that, nothing. Damn. Um, I'm not going to do any changes. I'm not going to send him in any camps. not going to control that. I mean, LeBron won 57 games as a rookie. He won Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year. He was on, like, everything. Dude was an all-star starter as a rookie. I think LeBron's definitely got some potential to be a 
pretty good player in this league with his rookiness. And obviously it's LeBron. He's going to do great. So, you know, all right, we're going to jump right back into simulating. Go straight to the all-star break. And we'll see how LeBron plays this season. The team is a little bit worse because now they don't have Drummond. But LeBron is a little bit better. So he might be able to carry his team to the playoffs. If not, LeBron might miss out. We'll see. I kind of hope he doesn't miss out because he did really good last year. And he didn't have Kevin Love or Drummond with him for some of those series. So he was playing it on his own. Oh, man. Not looking like a good year if you're the Cavs. They might be taking a tank year, or they're just battling for an 8th seed, which is not going to help them because then they'll fight the 76ers or the Bucks, Unless they pull their season back. So, all right, I'll see you guys at the All-Star break, and we'll see if LeBron has made yet another All-Star appearance. All righty, guys, we're here at the All-Star selections to see if LeBron has made an All-Star game. I don't know. He's 29 and 21. So we don't really know. Uh... Yes, I do wish to stop simulating. It is Giannis and Luka. Let's see. Does LeBron make another All-Star game? He does. Another All-Star starting nod for LeBron James. Good for him. Let's see what the award races are looking like right now at half or at the middle of the season. LeBron's still in the races to win an MVP trophy. He probably won't get it with the way Luka's playing. He's going to get his second Defensive Player of the Year award. That'll be good to see. LeBron win his second Defensive Player of the Year award in a row. If he can start stringing together Defensive Player of the Years, he might end up being one of the best defenders ever. I mean, his team's got a chance right now, I think, to make it to the playoffs. Let's stop sim stop simming just to check. Uh, I want to check the team status okay LeBron is definitely a playoff team he's got a chance to become a top a top guy LeBron's a 91 Jesus or 90 not a 91 a 96 he's young as shit he's gonna start dominating the league especially once Luka gets old I think he's just gonna start dominating I mean we are at the midpoint in the season he's got a chance to be a, a mid-tier team for sure as far as uh the playoffs which it does look like LeBron will make another playoff seed, which means in this career sim, he is yet to miss the playoffs, which is impressive. Because that means he's been able to lead his team consistently to the playoffs. And these Cavs teams are not going to be great. It's just going to be like real life for him and the Cavs. Not a particularly great team. But I mean, he's pulling them to like a 41 season. Potentially. It all really depends on how they play their season out, but they could definitely be a four seed, maybe. I'll see you guys at the end of April, right before the end of the season. All right, guys, here we are coming up to the end of the season. They did not do super well since the last time I, you guys were watching because they're only 43 and 36. I mean, it's going to be a good enough record to get a solid seed in the East for sure, but how good is it going to be? They're 44 and 37 right now, which I don't know how well that's going to make them. They're a 7 seed right now. They've clinched the playoffs, but they're a 7 seed, which means they're going to have to play the Hawks. I mean, it is LeBron, so the Hawks are... I did not mean to do that. The Hawks are a beatable team. I mean, they won 55 games, so they might have climbed up. Hmm, LeBron didn't win that. LeBron does win Defensive Player of the Year this year. Hmm, all right. LeBron makes NBA first team again. Does he make the defensive teams again? Is he an all-defensive first team? He is. All right. LeBron is going to be the seventh seed taking on the Atlanta Hawks. What does this Atlanta Hawks team look like that they're the second seed? They don't look different at all. This team is definitely beatable. Oh, Kevin Love is injured. Or this team could be beatable. I think LeBron's got a chance. Mm, maybe not. It might be a first-round exit for LeBron James. Yeah. Looks like it. Yep. First-round exit swept in the first round. LeBron James doesn't get anything this year. That's a disappointment. Who's going to win the championship this year? I think it was the Clippers last year. They don't even make it. It's going to be Luka. Luka's going to win it. No, the 76ers win it. 
Mm. All right, we're going to go down all the way to player progression and see just how much better LeBron has gotten after his second year. I feel like he's gotten significantly better. For sure. I mean, he was a 96 during the season. He's probably damn near like a 99. Especially now that he's got, you know, teammates that are going to be willing to help him, hopefully. Hopefully the Cavs can sign somebody because, you know, LeBron's got like another team option on his record, I think, and then he's gone. They didn't look, they don't look like they signed anybody. Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. LeBron's a 97, though. He's got one year left on his deal. Is that it, though? Or does he have more? Okay, LeBron's got a team option next year. Uh, Kevin Love is was out for the season, or he probably could have made it a little further. It doesn't look like they brought anybody in. Dang. They didn't bring anybody in to help LeBron. The Cavs need to do that, or LeBron's probably going to go somewhere else. I mean, he's a young guy. He's playing very well. He's led the Cavs to the playoffs both of the years of his career, so he's doing good in that regard. I don't know what he could be doing wrong. All right, we're going to send to this point right here. See if LeBron can catch another all-star starting nod again. And maybe if Kevin Love is healthy, I could see this team doing another run like that. Because if Kevin Love is healthy, this team definitely has potential. He must be healthy because this team definitely has potential to make a decent run at the NBA championship if he can stay healthy. Hopefully, you know? Because they're, they're starting this season off very well, which is a good sign if they're planning to bring another title back to Cleveland. If they're planning for another deep playoff run like they had last year, which would probably help LeBron in wanting to come back. <clears throat> Hopefully he does, because, I mean, I kind of want to see him be, in the, be with the Cavs a little bit, you know, because he, uh, he was on the Cavs in real life for, like, six years. I don't know, though. We'll see. It all depends on how the Cavs perform, you know, and how well they deal with his contract and bringing people around him. Or he might just choose to go somewhere else. Alright, um, I'm going to pause it and we'll rejoin back at... Um, um, you guys will join me back at the All-Star Selections. Alright, here we are coming up to the All-Star Selections. The Cavs are not doing good. They had a really good year going. And now they've just been losing a lot of games. I don't even know where LeBron's going to be right now. He sits middle of the pack in the playoffs. With a chance to climb up to third, but... He's, he's a 99 right now. LeBron is maxed out. He's probably going to be an all-star here. Damian Lillard and Giannis. LeBron, yet again, is an all-star starter. So we will simulate down here to the all-star break. Check the award races. See where things are going. Hopefully Lebr LeBron and the Cavs can pull some changes around. And get this team back into an upper seed because they don't want to be a mid-tier seed right now. You definitely don't want to be one. I mean, he had a chance to be a definite one seed and start his reign on the Eastern Conference, but he just started losing a lot of games. All right. At the All-Star break, award races are LeBron and Giannis. Mainly because Luke is injured, it looks like. Yeah, he's out another month or two, so Luke is out of the race. It's LeBron versus Giannis, but with LeBron's team not doing great, that's not going to help him. And then LeBron trying to secure another Defensive Player of the Year award. Probably will, honestly, knowing LeBron. He'll probably secure the third Defensive Player of the Year award, I believe. Damn. Come on, LeBron. If you guys can get a good uh, second half of the season push... They can definitely be an upper seed. They can maybe even chase that one seed if they can get on enough of a win streak. Actually, where are they even at right now in the playoff hunt? They are the fourth seed with definite chances of getting like second seed. Probably not, or not second seed, third seed. So they're going to be third or fourth probably. It doesn't look like LeBron's going to be able to get much higher, but he can go lower. 
He'd have to win 40 plus, and I don't know if the Cavs can win 40 plus this year. Or not 40 plus, but like 45 plus. I mean, if he goes on a run, I can see it happening, but I don't know. It's not looking super great, though, if you're the Cavs, if LeBron's going to be able to do this. Mm. He's definitely going to be able to pull at least a three seed, at the most, which can't be bad. I mean, the most that he's gotten before was a second seed, because he's been a second seed and then a seventh seed. So he'll definitely be making the playoffs for the third year straight, which is good. But it's also to be expected if you're a 99 overall and your name is LeBron James. So he's definitely going to be a 99 for the the remainder of his career, though. That's for sure. Hopefully his drop-off isn't super long, or not super soon, because then he can dominate for a while. They do win 42 games, okay. They're going to be above 500 for the third year straight since LeBron has showed up. And they will make the playoffs for the third year straight since LeBron has showed up. They've got 45 wins. How many do they need to be a better seed? Okay, yeah, they're not going to get anything. They've, they've clinched the playoffs. But LeBron is not going to be able to win any more games. He's stuck as the, th- the fourth seed. He, c- he had a chance to be a third seed, but he's stuck at a fourth seed. Which is fine, you know? If you're the fourth seed, you've got a decent chance. you got to go through the first seed, though, I think. Okay. No real reason to check the stats. I did not mean to do that. Let's just simulate the game. Final game of the year against the Heat. LeBron pulls out a win. That's good. They win their 57th game. Does not win MVP. I'm not expecting him to win that until, like, you know, some other people start dropping off. Lloyd Pierce, which is the Hawks coach, wins coach of the year. LeBron, his first team again, is he defensive team again? He is. Okay. And they are the fourth seed taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Have the Brooklyn Nets changed at all? They still have Kevin Durant. They still have... Uh, Kyrie. So no, they haven't changed. Last time, LeBron beat these guys, so can he do it again? He's up 2-1. He's up 3-1. He advances. And Atlanta advances. Last time LeBron played Atlanta, they beat him. This time, they didn't change. They have a worse center in Marquise Chris now, but the last time LeBron played the Hawks, he got swept. Is it going to be the same story this year? Yeah, look, oh wait, no, LeBron's battling back. He battled back a little bit. Does LeBron have a chance for the third time in his career, or not the third time, second time in his career to get to the Western Conference Finals? He's up 3-2. to two. Come on, LeBron, you can do it. You're going to face Philly if you make it. Come on, LeBron, you're at home. You're in Cleveland. You can do it. No, he gets beat to force a game seven. At least this time he didn't get swept, but now... It's a game seven in Atlanta, and he's getting blown out. Damn, LeBron. I expected you to try a little bit harder. LeBron is not playing like he should or like he does in real life. In game sevens, he shows up a lot more. He's at least made the playoffs every year. Luka versus uh, Luka versus Trey Young. And Trey Young wins an NBA championship this year. Hmm. All right. We're going straight to player progression. Nothing getting affected. Hopefully the Cavs can bring somebody in. And hopefully they at least try and re-sign LeBron. Because if they don't, that could be a big loss. Because he could go play for a contender and start winning championships. But they do have the team option on him. So I don't think he's going to go anywhere. I pretty much expect to see him here for this year. Maybe the next one. Because then after that, I don't think they have the bird rights on him. I don't remember how it works. But I think they've got him for... This contract, and then he's going to have to pay, or he's going to have to sign a new one for the next contract. But he can decide whether he wants to go somewhere else or not. We'll see. LeBron is here. He's definitely on that team option. Did he sign anything? No. LeBron did not sign anything. They do have Kevin Love, but he's getting worse. They didn't bring anybody in, really. They brought an Ezo, an auto-generated guy. Other than that, it doesn't look like they brought anybody in. Damn. They really are not helping LeBron out. That's not good because this is LeBron's last year. And unless he signs a contract extension, he might be going somewhere else next year. I mean, he hasn't been able to win anything with the Cavs, but he's at least made the playoffs every year. I think this will be the last season we simulate. 
maybe another one? I don't know. I want to get a few years into LeBron's career first. Because, I mean, knowing LeBron, he's going to play, like, 20-plus years. So let's simulate to... Oh, I don't even know where it is. I guess we'll just simulate to the All-Star break. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, yikes. Is this a tank year for the Cavs? Are they going to miss the playoffs? I mean, it is early, so there's a chance that they do pull it back. And I guess I'll see you guys at the All-Star break and see if LeBron wins another All-Star and how his stats are looking at the season. All right, guys, I'm jumping back in because it does not look like the Cavs are doing it all good this year. They they don't look like they're going to make a playoffs. They're 17 and 21 right now. It doesn't unless they pull their season really far back, it doesn't look like they're going to make the playoffs. And if they do, they're going to only be able to make an 8th seed unless they make a super push and maybe get a 7th, but that's it really. It doesn't look like they're going to make the playoffs though. I mean, we're not even at the All-Star break yet and they haven't even won 20 games. They they still haven't. We're in the we're in the end of January and they've just now won 20 games. Like, they are not looking like a playoff team unless they just start pulling out some magic. I don't know. LeBron can do it, but it would be really impressive if he pulls the season out of the dirt. They're not doing super well. They're a 500 team now. He's gone on a little bit of a winning streak. I mean, we'll see if it matters. I don't know if it will. Oof. 500. Um, let's see if LeBron is an all-star again. He is indeed. LeBron every year is getting that all-star nod. Let's simulate down here to the all-star break, and then let's see where the Cavs are in the standings and see how likely it is for them to make the playoffs because I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can or will. I mean, LeBron's going to have to carry them if they're going to do it. Two games left. Are they going to be on a five-game winning streak going into the All-Star break? No. All righty. They are the eighth seed right now, so they're probably only going to be fighting for that eighth seed. Doesn't look like they're going to fight for much else. All righty. Not looking good if you're LeBron. That's for sure. Not looking good at all. Because he's going to be like an 8 seed. He's going to get smacked up by a 1 seed. Then he's not going to be able to do anything. He'll probably, if they miss out on the playoffs, he'll, I would hope he'll go somewhere else. Because, I mean, he'll he'll have spent three of his years contract extensions. So I'm not going to stop simulating. But I am going to check right after. Let's see. Did LeBron sign a new deal? LeBron did not sign a new deal yet. He may not have had contract extensions. I don't know. Let's see. Third, three bird years are required before a team can go over the salary cap to re-sign the player. Okay. So LeBron, how is he thinking right now? I'm interested in remaining with Cleveland. Let's talk about a contract once the season is over. So he does plan on staying in Cleveland, which is, it makes sense. It's LeBron. He's extremely loyal. He does seem like he's going to stay in Cleveland, which is not going to be the best for him, I don't feel. But he's also going to have to be stuck here for at least another three years before he can be bought off by another team. So he's going to have to be here for at least six years of his career, and then he can potentially go somewhere else. So he's going to have to hope he can compete in the East enough to earn himself a contract to play for an actual contender, hopefully. If he doesn't plan on just staying in Cleveland his entire career and being a Cavs lifer. Which, as we know in real life, LeBron was not a Cavs lifer at all. Because in the 2010-11 season, he went to the Miami Heat. But we'll see. It does look like he's kind of pulling his season back. He was fighting for an 8th seed, but now he might be fighting for a top seed. He might be fighting for like a top 3-4 seed. Which would be kind of good to see for LeBron. With only a few games left in the season, there's only eight games left. Is he going to be a 500 team? No, he's not. Okay, he's going to be an above 500 team yet again. Good for LeBron, but does it matter? I don't know. Mm, not looking too good if you're LeBron James right now. Two games left in the season, 44 wins, 44 wins. I don't think that's going to give him MVP. It's not, all right? He does win another Defensive Player of the Year award. And Lloyd Pierce 
the Hawks. Ooh, LeBron is not an NBA first team. Is he an NBA? He's an NBA second team. He must not have had a great year. He's interested in remaining where he's at, though. So that's good to see. He did. He had about an average year again. He had about an average year. All right. He is the eighth seed. They won 44 games and were the eighth seed, taking on the 76ers, who are. I was going to say, I would expect to be about the same. Um. Hmm. Oh, they have Paul George. Okay, yeah, LeBron, you're not going to make it. Sorry to say. You're probably going to get beat. If you win as an 8 seed, wait. LeBron, he went up 2-0 as the 8 seed. Hmm. As the 8 seed, he won the first two games in Philly. But then it, he went down 3-2. And that's all she wrote for LeBron. A first round exit yet again. Is this going to change LeBron's mind? Uh, who won last year? I think it was uh, Trey. Trey won last year. But he's... Ooh, he blew a 3-1. It's going to be Luka, I would say. Put my faith... Nope, the 76ers win another NBA championship. Um, Let's see. We do have to check uh, team player options because LeBron does, I believe, have a player option. I'm not going to do anything, but I want to see if they did offer LeBron a deal. Actually, no. We'll go straight to player progression because I don't want to know that. We'll see if they did give LeBron a deal. I mean, because he is a free agent and he could technically sign somewhere else, but we'll see. He does seem to be wrapped up here for at least another three years. We'll see, though. I don't know. He is definitely guaranteed, though, to be wrapped up for three more years. Until he can decide to go somewhere else, which, I mean, would kind of be cool to see if this is how the Cavs are going to play. If they're not going to do much, then it would be good to see him go somewhere else where he can actually be utilized. Did he re-sign? Let's see in player progressions. Did he re-sign? They re-signed a lot of their guys. LeBron didn't re-sign. He went somewhere else. LeBron's not on the Cavs. Him and Kevin Love, both, unless Kevin Love retired. But LeBron is not here. Where did he go? <laughs> Kyrie's back on the Celtics. Where's LeBron? Player finder. Where did LeBron go? He left. He left after his his deal. James. Oh, no, that's his first name. Where did he go? I was expecting LeBron to stay. Where did you go, LeBron? LeBron. He's on the Nuggets. LeBron went to the Nuggets after four years in Cleveland. He said, I'm out of here. I'm going to go play for a contender. So we got to go change our team over to the Nuggets. Uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. My league settings. No, that's not where it is. Position settings. No. There it is. Let's go to the Cavs, turn them off. Oh wait, yeah, we gotta go over to the We gotta go over to the Nuggets, control them. Now let's go back over to the Cavs, turn them off. So LeBron James is now a member of the Nuggets. That is gonna be weird. I wanna see that. I wanna see LeBron in the Nuggets uniform. That is weird, but at least he's playing on a contender. You know, he's playing for a team where he's definitely a contender. What kind of deal did he sign? He signed a good one, it looks like. Let's see. LeBron signed a meaty deal. Damn, get your money, LeBron. I mean, he did win. He's gone to four straight All-Stars. Four straight All-Star games. He's won to three all, all, all NBA first teams. He's won the Defensive Player of the Year award. Literally every year of his career. He's been on the all-defensive first team every year. He won rookie of the year. Like, the dude has been a god. And he's on... Oh, they don't have Jokic. This team doesn't have Jokic, but they do look deep. They've got Clint Capella. So this team definitely has a chance to compete with LeBron on the roster. I want to help them out by making one of these guys into a power forward. I don't like doing that because it does affect it, but... If you make Clint a power forward, if you make him a power forward, he goes to 90. Okay, let's put 
Clint at center, I'm just helping them out a little bit, you know, so that they've got this lineup. Because then this is their starters right here. That's all I'm going to do. Just make that slight change to their team. That's all I'm doing, I swear. I am I probably shouldn't even have made that change. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Next video, we're going to see how LeBron on the Nuggets goes. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.